are you normal weight but metabolically obese? Now, if you are not, you definitely know somebody who is. And this is a little bit more uh, deceptive an issue compared to overt obesity because it's so obvious with the big old belly sticking out. However, if somebody lives on these pro-inflammatory calories and never exercises, they can be normal weight and look even lean with clothes on, but then uh, they have way too much body fat, not enough muscle mass, and they've got pro-inflammatory body chemistry. So the uh, definition of a metabolically obese person is somebody who has the metabolic syndrome. Now, the average person, obviously, who has normal weight is not going to have an increased waistline. So their waist circumference will not be elevated. They will have these markers present. So their blood pressure will be 130 over 85 or higher. And that's really all it is for metabolic syndrome. We should be below 120 over 80, so, so just above, up above uh, uh, 120 over 80, they call it prehypertension, which is what this is, this is, because hypertension starts at officially 140 over 90. So between 140 over 90 and 120 over 80, you're prehypertense. So these are the biggies, though, and you can just do these at home with a glucometer if you have one. And your blood glucose should be well below 100, but if you're at 100 or higher, you're metabolically obese if you're normal weight. And if your triglycerides are 150 or more, metabolically obese. And if your, glu if your HDL is below 50 for women, below 40 for men, that means you're metabolically obese. So how common is this? Well, let's first look at the broad population itself. So this is a broad population based on data from 20 years ago. So this has been tracked for a long time. Uh, broad population, we go right to the 60 and older group, and we see this is about 45% almost of the entire adult population, 60 and older, are, have metabolic syndrome, pro-inflammatory. Now, in most cases, this is uh, for people who are overweight or obese, but we're talking about the lean people. We'll get there in a couple seconds. So people who are 50 to 59 years of age, 35% are flaming away with the metabolic syndrome. And it drops down to not quite, uh, about 7.5% for men and about 6% for women between the ages of 20 and 29. So huge numbers of the U.S. population is flaming away with metabolic syndrome. So now what about the normal weight or just slightly overweight population? So the normal weight population and uh, metabolic obesity, which is metabolic syndrome. So this is the normal weight population. So to the left, men up top, women down below. And you can see if we get right to 23 to 24.9 body mass index. So this is white men, almost 10% of white men with BMIs 23 to 24.9 metabolic syndrome. This is for Hispanic men, this is for black men. Down below, you see white women, Hispanic women, black women, and about 12% of Hispanic women and 12% and of white women, they are normal weight but metabolically obese. Now we just jump to slightly overweight, which is a BMI, body mass index, between 25 and 26.9. And you can see for men, almost 20% of Hispanic men and white men are, have, have, are metabolically obese, and for Hispanic and white women, over 20% are metabolically obese. So these people are at risk for this, developing the same diseases that overtly obese people are at risk of, and this will include uh, COVID-19 because hyperglycemia is the key to really poor outcomes for uh, COVID-19. And here's what scientists say. Due to prolonged viral shedding, quarantine and obese subjects, or metabolically obese subjects, I should say, should likely be longer than normal weight individuals. Now, I've used this image before, and I, and I use it again and again because I want to emphasize that obese people and metabolically obese people are the primary COVID vector out there. And we think about, uh, or we're told in the news, that Obese people are at greater risk for developing a bad case of COVID-19, which is true 
they are also the primary COVID vector. You can read through one through six again if you haven't seen this before. And if you want to verify this, you just got to take, you can just type these terms into your browser search area and you'll, you'll see numerous scientific papers appear. And this is why COVID-19 is not a virus crisis, not a mass crisis, not a lack of a vaccine crisis, but without question, it is an obesity crisis and a hyperglycemia crisis, so a metabolically obese crisis is what COVID-19 actually is. And of course, for the super old people, it's just a, an inflammaging scenario, which I've described in previous, in previous videos. So the issue is to get to become normal weight and normal and normal and have normal body chemistry. So the way to do it, at least from the deflame world, you can cruise over to my Amazon page. This book is about right down here. You can't read. I'll read it to you. Learn how you can master and control your eating beast within. So this is a book about eating and eating physiology, eating pathophysiology, eating psychology. So eating emotions, that's what this book is about. So you got to gain control of the eating beast. And that's what this book's all about. It doesn't talk about food specifically. Because you can shred on a, on a vegan diet, omnivore, or pure meat diet, depending upon uh, your caloric intake. So it's pretty easy to do across the board. That's why so-called all diets work initially, because everyone becomes hypocaloric. But what they don't get control of is the eating beast. And that's what this book is about. The original D-Flame book is about nutrition and food and its influence on inflammation. So, for example, fats are a confusing topic. There's like 50 pages of, of uh, in, in the original book about fat. We don't, I don't discuss that level of nutrition detail to any degree in these books. These books are about specific body areas that become degenerated and disease-ridden when we live on these calories. So for the current COVID crisis, this book, the original Deflame book, the Weight Loss Secret book, and the Immune Health book would be good books to read. So single books can be purchased as Amazon and multiple copies, so volume discounts are available at deflame.com if you have an interest.